Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Machine 2 and record from Machine 2 into Cubase 8. Um, and I'll show you how to do this step by step. Now, I'm just going to explain a little bit before I begin. I know that Native Instruments have changed Machine 2 a lot over the past months, uh, so it can be quite confusing to set it up correctly. Uh, also notice that Machine 2 is not only a BST instrument, it's sort of its own sequencer, sequencer um, so to say, um, which means that if you load it up in QAs, it's not going to be uh, uh, it's not going to have the settings to work with Cubase by default. So you'll need to set this up uh, yourself. Um, I'm running Cubase 8.0.5 and Machine 2.2.3 uh, on a Windows 8.1 computer and everything is running in 64-bit, but I don't think that should matter too much. Um, so we're going to begin with adding a instrument track and choose Machine 2. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's an instrument track or a rack instrument, and the procedure is going to be the same anyway. Um, click on the track, and in the inspector panel, you'll have to change the input routing from all MIDI inputs to where it says 01 Machine 2 MIDI out. If you don't do this, you're not going to have any MIDI signal going into the track. So we can just start off by uh, loading a uh, kit. Um, I'll choose the uh, army kit for to begin with. Um, now it might be a little bit hard to see, but up here there is a little knob icon, um, a settings icon. Click on this one, go to group and input, and make sure that it's activated and change the channel to channel one, because we're gonna do two uh, tracks in this video uh, but we'll start with the first one. Now change the root note to C3. Now it might seem a little odd that you'll have to do this, but um, that's just the way it works. Um, leave the MIDI through off. And so now we can go over to the sound section, click on sound and input and MIDI. But before we change anything here, we have to select all of our sounds within the group because the settings in this section is only going to affect uh, the selected sound because we're in the sound section. So on a Windows uh, computer, you'll have to just click somewhere here and Control A to select all of the sounds. And make sure that active is off and we can leave the channel to all, but we'll have to deactivate MIDI through. This is really important. And now you can click on Output, MIDI, and now we'll have to change the destination to Host and set a channel to channel 1. And the last thing we'll have to do is to right-click on the group itself, go to Group MIDI Batch Setup, and Sounds to MIDI Notes. Okay, so now we should be able to record. We can just make a test recording to see if it's working. Okay, so as you can see, recording works fine and we can play back the sound to see if it's working and it's working correctly. So that's basically how you set up a uh, machine to, uh, to record in Cubase. Now, I thought you might want to, to know this. Um, so we're gonna go through how to set up another group if you would like uh, to add another kit. Um, first thing you'll have to do is just to add a MIDI track. You don't have to add a instrument track or a rack instrument. You can just add a MIDI track add a track and then we'll have to make sure that the input routing is correct and as you can see it says 01 machine to MIDI out. Um, the channel is set to 2 so on this track we have channel 1, on this tra track we have channel 2. So now you can just open machine again, add a new group and choose another kit.
Um, I think we'll choose the uh, backwards kit. Double click on it. And the procedure is pretty much going to be the same. Go to group in the settings. Input, make sure that MIDI is activated. We'll set the channel to channel 2 this time because it's the second track. And we'll adjust the root note to C3 and make sure that MIDI 3 is off. Now we'll have to go to sound. Remember to select all of your sounds. It's easy uh, to forget this. Make sure that activate is off and the channel can be left to all, but we'll have to deactivate through. Go to the output section, MIDI, destination, set it to host and channel to channel two. Right click on a group, group MIDI batch setup and sounds to MIDI notes. So now we can try to make a uh, test recording with the second group we have. And then I'll just quantize it really quick. And we can play it back and see how it sounds. And as you can hear, everything works as it should. So now you are able to record with Machine 2 in Cubase. Uh, you're also able to add multiple groups and multiple tracks in Cubase. Now, I thought you might wanted to know um, how you can set up uh, channels in the mixer. Um, if I just hide the stereo out and Um, just hide the MIDI. Um, as you can see, uh, we only have one channel in the uh, in the mixer, but we have two groups and two tracks, so it would make sense to separate them, and we can do this pretty easily. But we have to go to the first track because this is the instrument track and go to where it says activate outputs and add another channel. So click on this one and you can see that another channel appears and we can just rename these uh, to keep things tidy. The first track was keep one and we want the second one to be the clap. And now we'll have to set up machine two uh, to send this correctly. So we'll open machine again and there is a little uh, fader or fader type of icon up here. Click on that. That's the uh, mixer for machine. And you'll have to click on the first group. And if you can't see um, the uh, settings, you'll have to click on these small three icons to open up everything. And where it says group, we'll change it to external one. And so, of course, on the second group, we'll have to set it to external too. So this means that the first group is going to be sent to the first channel and the second group is going to be sent to the second channel. So if I play back now, you can see that um, this channel is playing the clap. I can solo it. And this one is playing um, the first thing we recorded. So you can set up up to uh, 16 outputs for each instance of machine. Now I, um, I made a template uh, with multiple instances of machine in case you wanted to um, have more channels than more than 16 channels. Uh, but for this video, we're just going to keep things a little simple. Now, all of this might seem like very tedious to set up each time you're going to record something in Cubase with machine. Um, and I know it is. So what I usually do is if I go back here, you can set up a template in machine if you want by clicking on the uh, first we'll have to save 
save this uh, project. So we'll click on save as and we'll, we'll just call it test and I have some tests before so we'll name it test3 and save it. And then you'll click on the down arrow again, go to preferences and where it says default, you can set the default template project for uh, the plugin. So if you click here, we can select test three and close. So now if I just open a new instance of machine, and this is gonna be the same if you open a new project in Cubase, you can see that we have the, def uh, we have the project that we just made automatically loaded up. The other alternative would be just to make a template in Cubase itself. Now the last thing I'll just want to say is that um, machine comes with some instruments. If you click on the instrument icon here, uh, you can choose instruments. And normally in machine, you would go into pad mode uh, if you wanted to play with um, the uh, instruments on the machine hardware. Problem is in Cubase that doesn't work really well. Um, but I um, I'm, I rarely use it because it wouldn't make sense to play an instrument in machine if you have a keyboard and you have Cubase. Uh, then you would just make a uh, instrument track and add the VST and so on. So if, for example, I open up a new group and let's choose a uh, instrument. Let's double click on this one. As you can see up here, it says Massive, and basically it, it has just loaded Massive into Machine. So if I open Massive by clicking on this, you can see that Massive is opened. So instead of using Machine as a uh, instrument in Cubase, you can just load up uh, Massive by going here, choose Massive, add track, and then select the uh, the same preset so that's the solution if you want to use instruments on uh, on the machine so that's how you record uh, with machine in cubase 8 if you have any questions leave it in the comments but make sure that you follow everything in the video correctly um, especially if it works one time but not the next time you might probably have forgotten something so just do a recap on the video and it pr should probably work fine until next time take care guys thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers i really appreciate it bye